What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, BU. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Welcome. Come on in here and hop on the couch. Kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves with everybody else, boo. All right? But let's get into your reading, Cancers. This is for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Nodes. And if your story isn't here, guys, check those other placements. For my day ones, my boos, my fam, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and fast forward to your reading, all right? So if you're new, you may want to stick around and hear this, okay? And if I'm speaking another language to you, then I need you to Google and type in free natal chart. Yes, your natal chart is basically your fingerprint to who you truly are. And it will tell you everything you need to know about yourselves. Because this is the age of Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius, which means it's new house rules. A lot of, there was a lot of, we just left the age of Pisces where there was a lot of hidden secrets and plots against humanity. Now that we're in my age, which is Aquarius, all the motherfucking secrets and hidden agendas and plots against humanity are now being revealed, guys. I mean, you guys got two motherfucking eyes. Because one, yeah, we don't play that shit. We're about equality for every fucking body. We're all going to eat, live happy, and be abundant around this bitch. No more low vibrational hate and bullshit. It's time we stop chasing waterfalls and start learning and knowing who we truly are. The gods and goddesses of this realm. It's time to awaken. <clears throat> Excuse me, I smoke weed, y'all. Okay, it's time to awaken to your true potential. So forget all the bullshit that you think you know, like Morpheus said. Because it's all bullshit. Ain't nothing in this reality is real, y'all. And that's facts, all right? You know all the Marvel movies, the X-Men, the Thors, you know, Iron Man. Well, they talking about y'all, okay? But it's, it's time for y'all to wake up. Y'all gotta wake up, me loves. And your natal chart will show you all your superpowers so that you can activate them. But you're gonna need your birth time so you can get your rising sign. Because we all the signs, y'all. Technically, we're all the fucking zodiac. All right, but you're going to need your, the three most important signs are the sun, moon, and rising. So, if you don't have your um, time of birth at school, it'll still give you a moon sign. You won't get your rising sign. But um, I do know some awesome astrologers here online. You got to get your, your chart read by them anyway, so it don't make no difference. But it, it makes a difference when you need to be going to the best, right? Might as well go to the best. So, right, go check them out. Their names are Shonda Rise, Fernando Prudhomme, um, a.k.a. Dolo Pilot, a.k.a. Flat Boss Bitch, you know for sure. OJC and Astro Finesse. Hey, so yeah, go tell them your girl sent you and then come back and leave me a star down below so that I know that you took the initiatives on going on the journey of long journeys. The journey of knowing thyself. See, because once you finally awaken to your true self, who you truly are, everything else will fall into place, y'all. So let's uh, start fixing our temples. You know what I'm saying? Taking better care of our temples, aka bodies. Start drinking more water, eat more plenty of fruits and veggies and shit. That also helps activate you guys faster. I'm sorry, eating all fucking hot Cheetos and chips and Doritos and snacks and junk and meat every day just ain't gonna fucking cut it. It'll cut your ass right to the goddamn uh, mortuary. But if, um, hey, if that's where you headed any goddamn way, by all means, to bypass everything I'm saying and carry on. Okay, do you, boo. But yeah, it's time to connect back to nature because nature is you. That's the true infinite source. Yeah, fuck what you heard about anything else. That's why they have you afraid of nature. You know the movie uh, Men in Black when it was raining? He said, that's because you're crying, baby. That part. Yeah. So, and ancestors, uh, yeah. Right, it's time for us to connect back to our ancestors, African Americans. I'm speaking to my African Americans. Yeah, it's time to connect back to our ancestors. Everybody else out here honoring their ancestors and shit. What happened to us? Yeah, we were taught to forget about our ancestors and honoring our ancestors. But like Mike Epps did and said, I am here to remind you. Right. Connect back to your ancestors. And when I say ancestors, you got your bloodline that ascended before you because we are gods and goddesses, immortal beings. You can't kill the immortal being. All right. Like I said, forget everything you thought you knew. Okay. So I want y'all to y'all to know better and do better. You know, just like take it's just like taking a blue and red pill on the matrix. You know what I'm saying? Just like Neo did. And Neo means the one. And guess who's the one? Because the Matrix was prophesied by a black woman like the Terminator. So yeah, those are movies we love. And the and the uh, the uh, Neo means the one, and the one means you. So yes, it's time for you to wake the fuck up. All right, I want y'all to know better and do better on my motherfucking channel, on my fam, my motherfucking family, the high vibing trap tribe, and we gonna make it if I have anything to say about it. All right. So if y'all have a dream of something you've been putting off, I suggest you do it now. Don't let these motherfuckers fool you into missing your opportunity. All right. Go check out. Eric Thomas, best motivational speech ever, ever. Type that in and listen to it and tell me it don't move your spirit if you have one. But anywho, yeah, he's great on your self-esteem, though. But let's get into your reading, Cassie, all right? This will be a general read on the current energy between you and your love interest, so take what apply and let the rest of the shit fly, all right? 
So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. So and for the signs I see in your reading are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Strong, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay. But it still can be anybody, though. So y'all don't be hung up on these um, uh, Zodiac signs, all right? So ho, let me see what it is. So, so ho, so go, so go. So anything, so anyway, so anyway, so anyway. What I see, it seems as though you've been feeling a little guarded with your walls up. Taking a stance, you meant what you said, said what the fuck you meant. Mm -hmm. You meant that shit, whatever the fuck it was. You ain't saying eye to eye on me halfway or trying to compromise in that order. Just keeping your distance and wanting them to do the same. But your person still sees a happy home with you, Cancer. They want to level up level up the relationship, okay? They, mean, they, they enjoy being around you. They think you a fun motherfucker. Some of you, y'all could have been married. <clears throat> y'all could have been married to this person, but they're ready to do things right. Y'all could have had a long-term relationship. But they trying to manifest a relationship with you, me loves. Yeah, they really want to be with y'all, honey, okay? But we're going to clarify and really see what's going on. How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing good? Y'all better be doing good, Cancers. I'm sending you much, much, much love. Good. My sister's a Cancer, and I love her dearly. Guys, they have beautiful hearts. Can be moody as fuck, but beautiful hearts overall. Clarify for me, please. Clarify for me. The temptation card is the devil card. It's the devil card, and this is the two of pentacles. So, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang, y'all smoke weed. My bad. And be hitting my pants and sometimes be strong, burning my damn throat and shit. All right, but yeah, I see you still guarding and feeling a little non trusting towards their ass because they got you paranoid because you still hurt. And that's because of some passionate message, passionate messages your ass found to or from your love interest involving somebody else, other people. So, yeah, I'll still be feeling spooked, too. But they still find you physically attractive, and they want to come sweep you off your feet. But it is a pen, pentacle, so it'll be a minute. But it will be an offer about making things more committed. And it is a pay, so it's a small offer. Yeah, they may be, there may be a... Uh, there may have been some toxicity, toxicity looming over your relationship. Possibly cheating, being emotional and verbally, physically abusive. But some of you, they could have been a manipulator. And they know you carried the relationship. That's why they want to come to take care of you now. They no longer holding the burdens of the relationship. Mm-hmm. And they know it was something difficult and heavy for you. I almost felt like it was work. Oh, as if it was the, as if the world the world of the weight the weight of the world was on your shoulders and they feel horrible horrible for treating you like that but it is a 10 so you release the burdens of the relationship as well all right all right well let's get an outcome card let's go but yeah energy is fluid so it can be this story can be either way it can be you feeling like this or them feeling like this take it however it applies to your life okay And leave it up. Let me All right, we got the chariot. We got you. Hey, now. Major Arcana. All right, so y'all will be moving forward in a relationship. That's the outcome. Hey, that's what's up. Mm hmm As I was doing your reading, too, the song, um, I'm Ready to Love You Forever by Tevin Campbell. So go listen to that. Yeah, get the message out of that, but let's clarify it. Let's see what we get. Clarify for this. Oh, well, 
really came upside down the seven of swords and I don't read reversals because my cards usually don't be reversed so I do take it when I do see it like that but yeah they ready to walk away from lying and cheating and trying to get away with shit even though they ass always get caught because they didn't know that they was married or dealing with uh fucking inspector gadget him or herself mm -hmm. well let's get you an advice card so I added so cancer I added the numbers up and got number 19 so 19 is 1 plus 9 is 1 it's 10 so 1 plus 0 is 1 so that's 1 eight. One is an aces so new beginnings a gift from the most high one also corresponds to the major arcana, the magician, which is Aquarius and Virgo. It also symbolizes renewal and birth and rebirth endeavors we love, all right, and expanded horizons. The gift of the ace energy usually stays for years at a time. It is also the first house of Aries, fiery mask that represents moving forward, all right? All right, but let's get you an outcome card. What is the outcome? Yeah, I need to see. We got Mariah, embrace oneness with the universe. Let me find the book and we can read it. Are you rushing through life trying to achieve and acquire? When Marac appears, it is time to take a deep breath and slow down. Consider there are simple, small, happy things around you to which you are blind, whisked, and fixated on the desired larger goals and larger expectations. They are making you feel increasingly cut off, frustrated, and despondent. The girl in the ma ma mar Marac has stepped up and away from her desk, out the kitchen, and away from other expectations. She has chosen to walk up and not die. She treads slowly in order to fulfill sense and notice the little things around her. Her heart lifts with great sense of happiness. Her feet spring luscious berries and sweets, sweetly scented flowers. The world around her swells with pleasure as it senses itself being noticed and appreciated. It is time to step lightly in the world and be grateful for what you have. Notice the small things, the answers you seek reside in the small achievements and enjoyments of each day and in your willingness to be one with the universe. Know that the role, know that you know that your role and place in the world is just as essential as anyone in any in anything else. I share, I share, I share. I'm gonna leave it right here. And if this ring a bell with you guys, go ahead and leave a girl a big thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a big thumbs down. Shit, I really don't give a fuck. As long as you got the fucking reading, all right? Let's get the goddamn message, all right? But anyway, if y'all made it this far, that's why I fuck with y'all. That's why y'all the shit. That's why y'all my motherfucking high five and tribe family and shit. And we gonna make it if I have anything to say about it. You figure deal with me. You figured it on me. All right. So, till we meet again. Yeah. Same bad time. Same bad channel. <laughs> All right. Deuces.